Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brews and Blades on October 6th. I got to pull up your uh, your chats and whatnot here. There we go. Came up really quick this time. That's good. There we are. Oh, I got my computer on. Sorry about that. Mute my pooter so you guys can't hear it. Thank you guys so much for coming on. 16 of you here already. Very cool. Uh, very, very happy to see everybody. Hey, Jacques Knife, Danny T, Libby. Uh, the usual crew is here. Here early. You guys are always the, the early guys. Hey, Ocon, another one of the early guys usually. Carbide Caviar. That's a, that's a really cool username, by the way. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty awesome. Your first Sunday live cast. Well, you came in swinging hard with a really cool username, so I, I do like that. Uh, oh, Chaz's World's already telling me to hydrate. You know what? I probably should. Let's get that out of the way. Get the beer out of the way. You're just getting the grill going. Well, it's it's really late. It's well, it's eight o'clock here, but uh, I'm an early dinner eater, so I already ate. Uh, today's again Genesee Oktoberfest. I still have the 12 pack I had before. I have not been hydrating properly this week, so I still have the same one. It's still a great beer. It's still, unfortunately, kind of just a Northeast thing, so I'm sorry about that. But, uh, hello, Pants Less Wear Well, Mark, Jameson, all you guys. Thanks for coming out. I do, uh, I do really appreciate it. And hey, Zach, how's it going? Um, still like the Tanto on the right very, very much. It is very nice. It is a prototype. Uh, I don't think that uh, I don't think they're shipping till like January, but um, it's a prototype from Drop. Trizula, ATC, Advanced Tactical Combat Folder, yeah, ATCF or something like that. I can't remember exactly what the the acronym for it is, but uh, still like it. Actually, it was uh, it came out of my pocket today. That's what I was carrying today, so that's why I why it's sitting here. And Ghost Rider is in the house. Yeah, we're going to talk about that here in a bit. Um, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a little challenge for you guys. Uh, any t-shirt sold one, a singular one. We're going to talk about that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Patreon has been picking up, though. I do very, very much appreciate that. Uh, I did gain a few. I think I'm up to 34 now, 33, 34, something like that. When I hit 40, giving away this to the Patreon subscribers. All you gotta be, all you gotta do is two bucks a month. One of you guys just to be one of the subs, one of the Patreon supporters, I guess. You're not supposed to call it subs, whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm giving this away. So yeah, did Nick ship you a terrible knife? No, uh, um, Isaac did. Uh, who I believe is Pocket Tank. I'm so bad about remembering stuff. But one of the other promotions we're doing. Not only when I hit forty uh, on Patreon, am I gonna give this sucker away? When I sell 10 products on the Teespring store, which is right down below, and I don't mean down below like in the comments. All you got to do is like scroll down below. Actually, it's not on this video, right? Oh, there it is. Yep, it is still there. Scroll down. You'll see buy Slicey Dicey merchandise from Teespring. When I sell 10 products of any kind, I'm going to carry this sucker for a week. And the guy who sent it to me told me something i did not know the other couple times i've shown this on video um oh it's it's worse than i thought so i, I mentioned something in the the little video thing thanks zach i appreciate it uh this the about the little motorcycle saddle on it yeah it lights up which makes it that much more awful um, yeah, there's like, I don't know if you can see it. There's some blue behind there and stuff like the, the little rib cage lights up blue and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's epically bad, but I will carry it for an entire week if I sell 10 products on the store. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be awful for me. Good for you guys. Uh, yeah, it's a multi-tool, exactly. Uh, no pocket clip, though, which I also didn't realize till I was doing that video. Yeah, no pocket clip at all, which I guess is kind of good because I bet the pocket clip will be horrible. So this way I can just, it's, it's cold enough out now, I can just hide it in a jacket and no one will have to, no one will have to know <laughs> that I have it in my pocket. I'm really surprised it's not assisted. Um, 
it isn't. It's a manual, which I guess that's good, but uh, nothing else about it is good. A uh, full 110% lockup. So, oh, I was just going to say, at least I know it's safe, but then I just know. And now it's completely locked up and I can't even get it closed. Now I'm going to have to tear it apart. It just went so far over that it's on the other side of the blade. <sighs> this isn't going to be fun, guys. Now I'm going to have to take this damn thing apart because it is not a locking knife at the moment. I can't even get it close. Son of a monkey. All right, well, I said I was going to do it. I said I was going to do it, so I am. I'm going to have to take it apart and try and fix it. It does have some kind of... Oh, I don't know if I can take it apart. I might not be able to take it apart. I may have to obtain another one of these, which is a fate worse than death, but we'll take a look at it later. Um, yeah, you did it to me, man. But I want to do something fun with it, and uh, now, now it's a friction folder without even that much friction. So, yeah, I'm going to have to figure that out. Let me see if I can just... I just whip it out. Will it? Nope. It's it's locked. The lock bar went on the other. The tiny, skinny, thin little lock bar went on the other side. So, oh well. Well, at least it's not a Dalica. At least I don't have to do that. Yeah, and it does have a sweet forward finger choil. Yes, you are right. You can. That's the only way it's comfortable. It's just if you hold it like this with these two fingers. Uh, make a sheath. No, I'm not going to do that. No, yeah, that's like, that's more than 110% lockup. That's like 140. You can see it went, went on the other side of the blade and now it's jammed in there. Oh, uh, hoop it stank. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I guess I'll have to take it apart and figure it out. So, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't even close it now. It just completely broke. Let's get that out of the way. We did our silliness, but yeah. If I sell any 10 products out of the Teespring thing, and I am adding hats. If you guys want to wait for the hats, I totally get that. Uh, I just actually did that today, and that's something, that particular product I have to get. Um, they have to, like, do a consultation thing and send me a proof first and all this stuff. So that's going to be a few days. But uh, I am doing hats, uh, three different kinds. So uh, a dad hat. Uh, which which is kind of I guess that's kind of hat that I usually wear you know with not uh, no mesh and a thing in the you know a normal pull thing in the back and then trucker hats and then snapbacks so yeah um, yeah I broke it I did I broke it it is a it is a that is a broken knife at the moment but I'm I hope I can fix it if I can get it apart that will be the thing to see. If there's a lock bar with no lockup, is that like dividing by zero? <laughs> yeah, I think it kind of is. Uh, I would like to have the Wienar. Well, the, sign up for the Patreon. I think you might be. I think B. Swim, you sound familiar. Uh, thanks, Pocket Tank. I appreciate that. Yeah, the Super Chat is open if anybody wants to kick in anything. Uh, all I really wanted to push was the, yeah, when I hit 40 on the Patreon, I'm going to be giving this thing away. And then... Um, the Wienar, as you guys like to call it. And then, uh, yeah, when I hit 10, I'm going to carry that piece of crap for a week if I have to fix it. If I can't fix it, I'll I'll buy another one. I'll suck it up and buy another one. Because um, I told you I would. And I'm a man of my word, so I will. Uh, and, hey, Keith, thanks a lot for the five bucks. I do very much appreciate that. Remember, moving sucks. I can't stay. Have a great night. Oh, you're moving? Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, I hate moving. I'm going to be doing that next year. I think uh, early... Early to mid next year, our our rental house we live in now is just getting bad enough that uh yeah we're gonna have I like renting so I don't have to pay taxes excuse me and all that stuff but uh yeah excuse me gosh it's an old house my house is built in eighteen sixty seven and it's just kind of it's just it's just time. It's just time to move. Uh, our lease is up in July, and we want to be out of here by then. So, uh, yeah. Uh, big house. It, it very big house. Uh, pretty inexpensive for my area, but, yeah. Uh, have you had a good week? You seem trippier this week. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, mostly good. Yeah, not all, not all good, but mostly good. So, uh, 
Super Steel Steve with the three, only you can make balls have into three words. That is very, that is very impressive. And uh, yes, Ocon, trouble is here. Uh, they blocked your comment, but I saw it. Um, sounds like you need a drink. Yep, I'm going to, more of the Genesee Oktoberfest. I've got my Rangers thing on it, even though it's not hockey season, but. If I sign up for the Patreon, you are getting my Caribbean for an immediate review. I'd like to review the Caribbean. It's still in production, right? They didn't cancel it. Thanks, Libby. Appreciate that. Um, hydrate. I just did. Um, uh, Benchmade versus Hogue Abelock. I've done that. I did the uh, Super Freak versus the uh, um, versus the the Hogue RSK. Mark 1-G2, whatever the hell it is, that long, ridiculous name on that. Um, it's back there a little ways. Spiderco Spidey Chef versus Spiderco Drunken or Sabenza, which would you pick? Um, hmm, that's a good, that's a good question. Uh, I've never held a Drunken, so we're going to take that out of the equation. I, I'd probably... I'd probably pick the Spidey Chef. I haven't held the new one. I really want to hold the new one, but if the new one is improved over the old one, then I would say that. So, uh, podcast update: I'm traveling this week, so it's going to be next week. But um, yeah, I've got I'm uh, actually leaving town on Wednesday. There will not be a Bruise and Blades on next Sunday because I will be uh, I will be out of town. I will be in uh, the Ville of Nash. Nashville, as normal people uh, would say that. So, uh, uh, which pro tech is that? This is the drop of Ferrum Forge Mordax, which I do very, very much enjoy. Um, one of my favorite knives I own right now, actually. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It is not an automatic like a lot of pro techs are. It's actually just a just a manual. Um, yeah, the action on it is just ridiculously sweet. Uh, you were in Nashville a few weeks ago, Kanye. Yeah, I've been there once before. Um, well, twice before. Once for comedy and once for um, once for this bike show I'm going to. And I never got a chance to really do much. Uh, this time I'm actually going, and we're going a day early and going to see uh, some really good uh, friends of ours. Are uh, are in a band called Ghosts of Paul Revere, which you've never checked out. Ghost of Paul Revere, you you should do that. They are amazing. Um, it's kind of that bluegrassy rock thing that all the hipsters love so much, but it, it's a really, really great band, and uh, we're going to go down a day early and see them and hang out a little bit, have some fun. So, um, yeah. Taz's World says Nashville has funny. Yeah, I don't I don't remember what what I did. I, I, I know I went down there for a gig, but I don't even remember where it was. I actually think it was a corporate gig. I think I went down there for a corporate thing. I don't think it was like in a in a comedy club, um, is, isn't SMKW or Nashville? Kind of. It's just far enough away that I can't quite pull it off. It's, uh, they're about, I think they're about two hours away. They're in Chattanooga. So, um, Brian, have you reviewed the stretch from Spider Co. Pocket Tank Ass? I, I have not. I have not. That was one that just never really appealed to me. So I didn't really, um, didn't really reach out for it. Uh, have you checked out the Wingman EDC MDDK? No, I have not. Uh, I would like to. And I've definitely not checked out the uh, URI. Um, and Jock's Knife says it's a weird knife pack thing. It is a weird knife, but it, it does look like it would probably be okay. But uh, EDC, a fixed blade? No, I tried. Danny T, I'm just not. It's just not my thing. And thank you, uh, Eric, whoever just it was. I just got my emails pop up on my computer screen, so I saw that uh, when you signed up for the Patreon. I do appreciate that. And thank you very much, Scott. Um, yeah, I, I'll let you know about the Caribbean. Yeah, it's uh, as long as it's not modified. That's what a lot of people offer me to send me knives, and they have like aftermarket edges and stuff, and I, I don't like to review stuff with aftermarket anything on it. Um, but a Caribbean would be cool to check out. Uh, I think I would really like it and then want to buy one and immediately dye the scales because I think those scales are hideous. Um, yeah, I never heard anything bad about the stretch. Just wasn't something that 
um, that I was I was kind of into. Uh, I need to get your hands on a giant mouse Sonoma. Yeah, I do definitely. Um, I do definitely. That's one that did kind of intrigue me, and now they switched to uh, Riot, but uh, couldn't afford to swing one right now. Again, I'm going out of town on business, so I usually leave there with no monies at all, and then come back with some. <laughs> so maybe when I get back, I'll be I'll be getting some more stuff. But uh, and thank you, Eric Bowers, yeah, for Patreon. I didn't want to say your whole name earlier because uh, I didn't know if you wanted me to, but thank you very much. I do very much appreciate that. Um, Libby says he has his Biblio up for sale, just not my thing. Um, let me talk to – email me about that, Libby. It, I, I'm not – I don't have cash to buy it, but maybe if you want to trade something, maybe we could figure something out. I, I've really wanted to check out a Biblio for a – a long period of time so uh shoot me an email about that um rob thank you very much for for your super chat ideas for microfiber hanks mighty hanks or i'm not really a hank guy so um yeah i have a really big schnoz and when i blow my nose i just want to throw away whatever it was i blew my nose on <laughs> so i just don't i just don't carry hanks very much that's something i've just never really gotten into Never really wanted to carry around a snotty piece of cloth in my in my pocket all day long. Um, it, uh, save fifty one hundred folder. Yeah, I kind of agree, Danny T. I think I think Hanks are it's kind of gross. Like my, I know my grandfather always carried one around, like when I was a kid, but I never wanted to touch it. So. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Blade Man. Blade Man says hats sell like crazy quick money. Yeah. The reason I didn't do them before is I, I'm not really a huge fan of the hats that they have on, uh, on Teespring, but, um, I'm going to give some of them a shot and see. So they're going to send me some proofs. So, um, but, uh, Danny T, Super Steel Steve, why don't you ever drink enough beer on your channel? I think he drinks plenty on his channel. I, I think he's I think he has his dosage down pretty damn good. It was a 16th century fad that never went away. Um Oh cool, Libby. I'm glad that's finally getting there. Sorry about all that. Um don't forget the whiskey. Not tonight. I'm not not doing the whiskey tonight. I'm taking it easy this evening. I have to get up really early tomorrow morning and get a lot of stuff done in the next two days, including uh, recording a recording a video for you guys. So, um, yeah, another steel wool video, but it's one that you guys really want. So, I'll just show you. Why not? I'll just show you. I've already got a mount here because I knew I was going to be doing it tomorrow. So. I do somewhat prepare for things and have everything out, and I got all my notes made. We're going to have the Cut Jack Mini versus the Mini Modus. That's tomorrow's video for you guys, so uh, you guys have been asking for that. I think it's going to be interesting. Um, I already know who won because, you know, I score it. So they, they, I, I kind of have the inside the inside knowledge on that. Jock's Knife says, blunts and blades for me tonight. Good good on you, mate. I'm not there yet. It's not legal here yet, and I, I don't know why. I don't know why that's something that I'm going to wait till it's legal. But once it's legal, again, I'll be I'll be there with you. Used to be. Used to be really into that. I do the CBD thing now, which helps out a whole lot, I have to say, with my body pain and stuff. Uh, wine and blades. <laughs> no, that's never going to happen. Um, I do like, I do like me a glass of wine, but I don't think those demos would, uh, would work together. Very well. Any open L's yet? No, nope, not yet. We're still working on it. I think that's going to be a lengthy thing. I hope to get something by Christmas, but it's going to be, it's going to be a hot minute. Um, Podcast update. I just said uh, I'm out of town this week, so hopefully next week. Um, who are your top comedians? Oh, it's uh, it changes all the time, but uh, lately, I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, I see. I don't. I don't watch a whole lot of comedy. Like, because I, I don't like watching other people do my job. But um, uh, always love Bill Burr. Always like working with Ron Funches. He's one of my favorite people to work with. Colin Quinn. I always like working with him. Um, I kind of go by now. It's it's uh, when now I just I just know guys. So a lot of them are just my friends, you know. So um. Uh, Libby says, if you do Wine and Blades, you have to do the whole show in a bad French or British accent. Uh, bad French accent I can do. Bad British I can't. Uh, French is an easy accent. Uh, not not that. Uh, Ryan Hay says, no idols. No, my idol uh, was Louis C.K., and he got in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> so I don't usually say that. But uh, no, Louis was my idol, and I get compared to him sometimes sometimes. Uh, um, not because I'm like as good as him, but just our cadence and stuff. And we're both old white guys, but, uh, middle-aged white guys. But, uh, yeah, that he was my idol. And then, you know, he got taken down ever work with Burt Kirshner. I've never worked with him, but I didn't meet him. Um, Ralphie was amazing. Ralphie, what Ralphie may was, was great. Uh, I never got a chance to meet him. Um, see you later pocket tank. Uh, Bill Hicks, uh, Bill Hicks, I appreciate what he did for the business. He's never made me laugh. Not one single time. Um, uh, my mentor was similar. If I have to give a mentor is, uh, uh, Barry Kirkman's was a very dear friend of mine and he passed away sadly, um, fairly recently, uh, a year and a half ago, something like that. And, uh, I loved that man and, uh, he really, he was a humanitarian. I mean, he testified before Congress three times. He went down to Nicaragua and all this stuff. And uh, he was an amazing, amazing guy. And we became very close friends. Um, shortly, or unfortunately, shortly about a year and a half before his death. But uh, Barry Crimmins, if you've ever seen Barry Crimmins, look up Barry Crimmins. Amazing guy. Um, just a great human being. Uh, Stephen Wright. Uh, Stephen Wright is on my, uh, he's on my, my bucket list for guys that I want to open for. Like that's somebody who I really want, want to open for someday. I would love to meet Stephen Wright. Stephen Wright's best joke writer there ever was. Uh, please flip the Chavez over. You want to stare at the clip? Uh, Doug Stanhope. I know Doug. He's Doug's a very nice guy, a nice guy. Um, and, and I, he makes me laugh. Uh, he's, he's not one of my favorites. It's just not my style, but, um. I will say just just to go. Um, well, Brian Regan is the best best guy working right now. But again, not 100 percent my style. But he's the best guy working right now. But uh, I will say uh, last night. I will admit, just we're, we're going to make it quick and we'll get off of comedy. Um, yeah, I had a I had a really bad set last night. Uh, that's the first time that's happened to me in like a year and a half. Uh, that's that's one thing that had been going really well is I was killing on stage for like the last year and a half. And last night, uh, that was not good. I went to this, I had this theater gig in an opera house and I thought it was going to be like this big, well-attended thing. And we get there and there's like 30 people and uh, my in-laws were there and everything because it was near my old hometown. And man, I, I did okay. I didn't bomb, but man, that wasn't great. I was not happy with it. I couldn't swear. It was like, I had to do work a hundred percent clean. So I was all paranoid about that. And then I get done with my set. I have to do like half an hour. And then the next guy comes up, the headliner, to do an hour. And he didn't swear, but he was not working clean. And it's like, why did I have to work clean and he's not? Like, what What was that? And I was I was kind of pissed off. May have had a little bit of a fit. Um, but uh, got paid. The venue liked me. All right, but the crowd was not, not a, not a hundred percent on my, uh, I, and I can work clean. I don't mind doing it, but I just don't like it when you make me work clean and then the guy after me, doesn't, and that 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 kind of pissed me off, and um, because then it's like working one hand tied behind my back, you know. I've heard the rumors about Alex Jones and Bill Hicks being the same person. Close enough. I've never heard that before. Never heard that before. You should got the Joe Rogan show. I, I I know a lot of the Joe Rogan guys. Those uh, um, those uh, the uh, what is it called? Death Death Squad comedy guys. Yeah, I've actually done a lot of the Death Squad shows. 
I don't think I'm Death Squad because I don't have the tattoo. You're supposed to get a tattoo, but I've worked with the Death Squad guys a whole lot. Um, as an old divorced guy, Kinnison killed me. Yeah, Kinnison was funny. I did like Kinnison when I was a kid because that's when he was up. I, I was a little kid when he was up. I know Doug Stanhope and Alex Jones toured together long ago. Really? I didn't know that. Uh, I'll have to I'll have to ask Doug about that. That's funny. That would be... The, I bet those are some great freaking stories. They have a DVD? How did I not know this? I've met Doug like five or six times and interviewed him and everything, and I didn't... I had no idea. Huh. Huh. I'll have to go find that out. Um, but uh, talking back to knives, what do I have coming in? Anybody got anything cool stuff coming in? I don't at the moment. Well, no, I, I have one thing. One thing I don't, don't think I'm allowed to talk about. And then some innocent, there's some uh, inexpen innocent, inexpensive stuff coming in. Um, but uh, I'm going to be gone for a week, so I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't order anything to be. I didn't want a whole lot of cool stuff coming in. This VV Brigand, yeah, that looks really cool. I, I, I. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to be late to the party on that one. I know that usually people count on me as the guy that gets the Civivis first, but just the way timing is, I don't want to be here before I leave, so. Um, I, I didn't order it yet. I was going to order it to time it so that it was going to be in here afterwards. So what can we take out of here? Well, we'll just make more room. I got to put one. We're talking about Civivi, so I'll put my little uh, Damascus McKenna in there. Uh, we'll see the crew wear my car to Shaman this weekend. Yeah, I'm probably going to miss out on that. Uh, is that an Isham Wee? This is an Isham Civivi. This is not. This is uh, the Wee Nar is... Oh, I'm a horrible person. I'm forgetting the the designer's name. Um, but yeah, that's uh, my 40 Patreon giveaway. What do you think of the Eterna? It looks cool. I don't I don't know if I've ever even handled one, honestly. Um Hey Shane, glad you made it in live for once. That's that's good. That's good. You said that. I'm not insulting you, so. Uh Spider, the ad, oh, you got an advocate? Yeah, I saw, I've seen some advocates for ridiculously cheap, and they were tempting. If I didn't have this uh, business trip coming up, I might have been tempted by one of those myself. Me wondering how the lock feels. I don't know what that's in reference to. Um, yeah, I know that my Carter Shaman's coming in this week, but uh, I'm, I'm going to miss it. Um, I know I'm gonna be out of town and I have the money and I'm gonna I'm gonna wind up missing out on it. I want one, but I'm gonna miss out on it. Uh, tempted for the Spider Co. Paisan. No, I didn't like that at all. I've handled one and that was just not my thing. Did not care for that. Um, Elementum Damascus is my next buy. Yeah, I kind of wish I had the Damascus Elementum instead of the Damascus uh, McKenna, but. Um, I am at one of these points sending this off to get the scales changed, but I just have been lazy and haven't haven't bothered to. I did carry this last night at my little opera house gig though, because it is it is very uh, very discreet and looks pretty and doesn't intimidate anybody. And I had to open it to help the headliner open a bag of craisins that he demanded be in the green room, which is okay. And uh, that was fine. But uh, any thoughts on Tom crying regrinds? I've heard good things. James Fong, I, I don't know anything about it. I've never seen one in person. Um, do, you, do you have any green room demands? No, I don't. Um, I'm not at that level yet in, in stand-up. Um, I do have a rider for when I go for speaking engagements, which I go for for bicycle stuff. Uh, but it's pretty pretty short and people ask me to do it so i just my whole freaking rider is just jet blue airlines when at all possible 
Uh, if I have to stay in a chain hotel, I prefer La Quinta. That's it. So I think that's pretty reasonable, right? That's not crazy. I'm not asking for green M&Ms or anything like that. Um, Benchmade Anthem, is it gone? That thing makes the most beautiful sound. Yep, it's gone. Uh, can't eat it. I have to pay stuff sometimes, so... Um, gotta say the 0562 tie has become my daily go-to carry. I love it. You know what? It's right here. I actually have my 0562 tie right here because I used it for a size comparison for a video the other day. So we'll bust this back out. Uh, we'll put away, we'll put away the Trezula since you can't get them right now. Endura 4 in the pocket today. That's a good one. Yeah, La Quinta is, the reason why I like La Quinta's Libby and why I asked for that is uh, I often um, wake up in the morning and don't know where I'm at. And uh, that's just a byproduct of having a lot of concussions. Just just for a few seconds, for like 10, 15 seconds, I don't know where I am. And the La Quintas are all the same. So while I'm confused for that little bit, I know where everything is. I know where the light switches are and all that stuff. Once I realize, okay, you're in a La Quinta, I I can find the light switch and all that, and then I figure out where I am and what day it is and all that, and then I'm fine. So that's why I asked for La Quintas. I don't have any particular affection for La Quinta. I don't think they're a great company or anything, but it's just I know where all the switches are at. <clears throat> you should request Maltesers for your green room. I should. You're right. You're right. Well, what was my my daily carry today? I, I said it earlier. It was uh, this. I had the uh, Terzula drop. This is a prototype, uh, ATCF, whatever it is, Tanto thing. This is what I was carrying today. Uh, really nice knife, I have to say. Really like it. They're making one pretty big change to the production version, but uh, it's going to have an, uh, an internal stop pin instead of the hidden stop pin. So it'll be metal on metal instead of metal on tie. Um Uh, Jack's Knight says, I have that horrible confusion every morning because of a head injury, only like 30 seconds maybe, but if anyone speaks to me in that few seconds, I get really shitty. Yep, that's exactly how I am. I just need to wake up, and I, I, just, need a, I just need a minute. And my wife's starting to learn that, especially when we're traveling. Uh, luckily, normally I wake up before her, but uh, sometimes I've, she's woken up before me, and I've woken up and not known where I was or what was going on. Thank God I always know who she is, though, so that's good. But I think that's um, I think that's a uh, um, I think that's a common thing with head injuries. It's just like I think that's something that's just never going to go away. I think that's going to happen the rest of my life. Yep, wake up like a bear out of hibernation. Exactly, that's a good way to put it. I may steal that from you. I may use that. Yeah, that is exactly what it's like. I just need a minute sometimes. I have no clue what... I don't know my ass from a hole in the ground when I first wake up. I don't know. I, ne I never know what day it is. It always take it, it takes me, like, a long time to figure out what the hell day it is. Because I work, I work for myself. I'm self-employed, so I never have a day off. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday mean nothing to me other than does the mail show up today or not. Like, I, other than that, I don't... I have no idea what day it is. Um... Eric Bauer said, I'm at 14 months in the waiting list for the Skaha 2. I've been waiting forever. Yeah, mine's mine's in the mail. I sold mine. It's so sad. It's gone. It's gone now. But it was went to a good, the money went to a good cause. So uh, I'm happy about it. Bruising Blades is my reference point for the week. Well, good. I'm glad I, glad I got that. Glad I, got, glad I could do that for you. Um, I've got so much in the mail. Yeah, I wish I did. I don't have as many as I usually do. Like I said, there's one that I'm not sure I'm allowed to talk about. If, if I was not recording this on my phone, I would Instagram the guy and ask if it's okay if I talk about it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, Randy F says, going to send you something this week for your 10,000. Oh, cool. Very happy. Very Well, thank you very much. I, I very much appreciate that. Uh, great knife, that Kapara. Yep, the Kapara is amazing. Uh, I 
I would bring it out right now, but I know exactly where my Kapara is. <clears throat> it's on my nightstand because it's what I carried last night or yesterday, and I left it there. So uh, I know exactly where it is, So and it's far away, so I'm not going to run downstairs and get it. But I really, really do like the Kapara a whole lot. Um, I wish it was US made, USA made, made, though. I assume you mean the Kapara. I don't really care that much about that. Um, if someone asked me what it's like to be married, I replied, first chain yourself to a bear, then kick the bear. Well, my my wife and I get along a hell of a lot better than that, Gregory Burke. But I mean, my, second, my second wife was like that. Yeah, I'm on my third. Uh, but the... The first, the first and second, I would agree with that on, but this one, this one's not like that. Um, nice line if you got there. What's your preference of sharpener? Uh, mostly right now, I've been using a Viper Sharp because they were kind enough to send me one, um, and I, I do really like it. It works well. Uh, I haven't ever had any problems with it. Um, but uh, before that, I mostly just used the uh, Spider Co. Sharp Maker. <clears throat> Um, have you seen the new Wii Saga? I have no idea what that is. Let me, let me try and look while we're here. Find a window on my phone that... <clears throat> yeah. All right, let's look and see. Ooh. That looks kind of cool. I have not always had the best relationship with Williamson's, but yeah, that's kind of cool looking. Kind of a sub frame locky sort of thing. Yeah, that does look pretty cool, actually. I do have to say. Man, yeah. Might have to check that one out. That looks pretty cool. Um. <clears throat> Love the stone options on the KME. Yeah, the Viper has quite a few too, but uh, at least all the ones I have helped kept, they sent me all of them, so it, I, it's been good. Uh, do you have a Spidey Chef review out? I, I think I did some video about the Spidey Chef. Someone sent me one. It had an aftermarket edge. I may not have done a full video on it, but I think I, I know I did something with it, and um, I really want the new, the new. QCI one. I'm glad that they QCI'd it. That means it's going to be around for a while so I can wait a hot minute when I actually have money. But um, Bobby S. says, you've carried the Wienar for a few weeks now and really digging it. Did a great job on review. Cheers. Thanks. Yeah, I'm giving it away. I, I love it. It's a great knife, but I wanted to give you guys something cool and I wanted to give you guys, since it's Patreon and the Patreon money I use to buy knives, I thought it was appropriate that I gave away a knife that I actually bought with the Patreon money. And this one I did actually buy with Patreon money. So, um, What do you think of QB knives? Uh, some of them are pretty cool. I do, I do really like a lot of them. Um, I've got one here that's really great that I've just never gotten around doing the review on, but uh, that I really like. Hydrate. It's what I just reached for. Keep your pants on. Sorry if I'm clearing my throat a lot tonight. Uh, I was on stage last night and then talking all day. So, um, And then Amazon said, no more flippers for you. Yeah, no more flippers for you. You can get QBs other places, though. Um, yep, my wiener is always on me. Yeah, so is mine. Sometimes too much, honestly. My wiener is always bothering me. Um when are we seeing some Tucson knives? As soon as I get some money ahead, probably my next time I get paid by Patreon, I'll buy a couple. I, I have a couple in a cart from White Mountain Knives, which is where I would suggest buying them from instead of dealing with Amazon and all that stuff. Um, as soon as I have some money in my cart, I, w I will definitely be uh, be doing that. Uh, Tucson is a brand I definitely want to um, to get going. Uh, have you ever collaborated with other knife reviewers? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I've done a lot of, we've done a lot of like, you know, those tag videos and stuff like that. And, and I talk to a lot of people all the time. Um, and we kind of coordinate to make sure we're not putting the same, the same stuff out on the same day and all that. But, uh, collaboration videos are always kind of, kind of difficult. It's a lot easier just to do like tags and things like that. 
Uh, who's your fave? I assume you mean Fox Rock 320. I assume you mean my favorite knife reviewer. Um, it's that's that's tough. Uh, the ones that I watch the most, um, huh? The ones I watch the most, I'd say, are Nick Shabazz and uh, Metal Complex because I know he's gonna pass me one day, so I always keep an eye on him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh um I always I've always liked Stasa twenty three. I've always liked, he did a really good job. I've always liked Zach's stuff. He, I think he's on here. Zach's stuff is great. Um I've always liked JT's Knife Life. And uh, you know, Shabazz of course. Um but uh I guess those are probably my, my top ones. I watch Birdshot for the entertainment value. I think I find their videos extremely entertaining. Um, I just like listening to them talk. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's probably it. Um, 69 viewers. Nice. Yeah, we were up to, I think it, I think it, I think it touched 80 a minute ago, but, uh, that's good. That's good. That's about in our, our average. I think we average about 65 to a hundred, something like that. So, uh, you watch Birdshot for the pugs. Yeah. Uh, I don't watch nothing fancy anymore. I don't know. It just, it lost me at some point. I don't, I'm not sure I'm even subscribed anymore. I'm not trying to throw shade. Isn't that what the kids say nowadays? Throw shade, but yeah, I don't think I even subscribed to him anymore. Uh, too much guns, and I'm not a, I'm not a gun guy, so. Uh, Big Red EDC is really good. I always watch his live stuff, for sure. I really like the live shows. Uh, you found me from Cedric and Ada. Oh yeah, I watch Cedric and Ada. I'm sorry, I watch Cedric and Ada all the time too. And in, in Advanced Knife Bro, I watch them, but uh, they don't do as much as they used to, so that's why they just escape my mind. It's not a. I love Pete, and I talk to them all the time on Instagram. We have a little group, and we all talk to each other, and and I I love interacting with those guys. They're both awesome, awesome dudes. Pete makes me laugh a whole lot on Instagram Instant Messenger. He is one of the funniest human beings that I know. And I'm a professional comedian who hangs out professional comedians. And he, Pete, makes me laugh a lot. There's a great variation of viewers. Always something to watch. You're right, Jock Snipe. I think we all have our own little niche, you know? I think I'm like the easily digestible one who occasionally, you know, slips in a dick joke and, um... You've got, you know, Birdshot Four. That's just, it, that's it's entertainment, and it, it's it's they have a great dynamic together. They have a two person show that's unique. You've got Advanced Knife Bro that does his crazy weird videos, which are hilarious and a lot of fun to watch. You've got Cedric and Ada that do real steel testing and, uh, but also does weird videos. You've got Super Steel Steve that does really good steel testing videos and. Curses like a parrot, and uh, and you know you you got a whole wide range of people. Alexander says I found you from Shabazz. Then I heard your butter voice. You should talk to Amazon to be an Alexa voice. Oh, I would love to be an Alexa voice. I do a bit of voiceover work actually. Um, you ever watch Zach stuff or seven? Yeah, I mentioned Zach stuff. Yeah, I do watch Seven Ready too. He's a good guy. I've actually I actually sent him a couple of knives. He's actually bought a couple from me. Um, he's one of the only guys that I'll ship to overseas because he knows, he knows the deal. Uh, ever watch Alchemy One? I did a long time ago. I don't think I have for a very long time. Um, Danny T says Pete's cats are too fat. Well, they, they get that way. I have one fat cat too. So, um, yeah, Advanced Knife Bros videos are fantastic. He's he's just a really good comedic writer. Forget forget the videos. He's just He's just a really good comedic writer. I've told him that before. I thought, you know, like, you know, you actually know, like, you know how to, you know how to write a joke. I don't think he realizes that he's writing jokes, but he is. We're going to, we're going to switch some stuff out here. What else do we got here? Yeah, the cinematography is very good, too. He could be a, like, director. Like, he knows, he knows how to frame a shot. He knows how to write a joke. Very, very good. Yeah, I, I know. He, yeah, he was a film student. Yeah, I know that. And you can tell. 
a lot, hell of a lot better than mine. Taz's World says the house cat has three legs and the anger to match. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. I told Metal Complex his voice sounds much like Nut and Fancy's. Eh. Maybe. I don't see that that much, but I, I guess I could get that. I used to get Metal Complex and Metal Effort mixed up, and I really couldn't figure out why their voices kept changing, lol. Jock Snipe says, well, now Metal Complex is uh, much bigger, so it's it's easy to easy to find that now. It's easy to know which one. Um, yeah, I think Nothing Fancy is going pretty much gun channel now, so. Um, not so monotone, Nothing Fancy will actually put you to sleep. Carbody Caviar said, you know, I, someone told me that. That's the weirdest freaking um, email I ever got. And I apologize if it's one of you that's on the thing. You can stick up and say, I'm not going to say your name because I don't remember it anyway. But I got an email saying, I love your channel. I listen to you as I go to sleep every night. And I was like, oh, okay, thank, thank you. You know? Yeah. Jack Snipe says, yeah, he's on it twice a day videos. Metal Complex won't stop till he's bigger than Apple. Yeah, I don't think he's going to. I keep an eye on him because he's, he's gaining on me. He's, still, he's probably still got at least a, uh, a year and a half or so before he catches me. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's gaining on me. He's doing a lot, and he works his ass off. But no, no problems there. I mean, I'm doing a podcast with him for a reason. Um, I'm going to be jumping on his coattails instead of uh, his, him. He thinks he's jumping on mine. I'm jumping on his. But, uh, yeah, I can't do two a day. I can barely do one a day anymore. I've just been doing one every couple of days. And you know what? I haven't noticed any difference in my channel growth doing that. So that's part of the reason why I've backed off. Part of it's monetary. Uh, part of it's just time constraints. And But wintertime, the bike industry shuts down. I want anything to do. I'll probably go back up to one a day. But right now, I'm... I'm letting. I'm knocking it down to one every couple of days. Uh, do you have any other flashlights besides Olay? I only have one Olay, and I never carry it actually. Um, I've got a. I got a couple of night cores, um, a couple stream lights. I'm not really a huge flashlight guy, but um. Uh, where do you find the podcast? You will know when it's out. Yeah, it's, uh, I've already got it all reserved and all that stuff. Uh, when are you doing the podcast? Next, Hopefully next week we'll get one done. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm out of town this most of this week. But uh, um, the, the new Ola, Olate Baton Pro Loons are awesome. I don't know what that one is. But um, Chief looks like a user up there. Yeah, it's been uh, – my native Chief's been put through a ringer. Uh, I do really like it, though. It's a, it's a great knife. Um, let me use some of the Joker. I've not seen that yet. Um, yeah, I've heard the Robies are, are pretty nice. Um, I just don't use a flashlight a whole lot, honestly, but I will more, um, in the wintertime, but beer, good, good call. I love for a native chief and LC 200 N. I'm sure they'll do some sprints of the Native Chief. They've done them of all the other Natives. I don't see why they wouldn't. Why would you choose the Chief over the military if the military had the correct clip points? Well, you you just answered it. That's why I don't I don't like the military clip points, and um, and I, I like the ergos of this better. I borrowed a military for a while, and I I didn't care for it. It wasn't not my thing at all. Use a streamlight, pen flashlight, one mode. You can go into Addict's Lock because it works, so it works, Alexander says. Yeah, I have a streamlight, just one mode streamlight, and I use it quite a bit. Um, if a dude listens to another dude's voice to fall asleep, he might be <laughs> extremely tired. <laughs> Very good, Scott Simmons, yeah. I do want to do audiobooks though. Like I, I do. That's I'm trying to get into more voiceover work, and I've just started 
just started into it. I've only done a couple little things and uh, it's, it's fun. And uh, if you think that doing voiceover work is easy, uh, yeah, you're right. It is. It's super easy. Like it's, it's just repeating the same things over and over again. And, but it's easy. It's just talking. Uh, I, I love it. It's, it's great. I've only had a couple little tiny things I did, but um, they took more time than I expected them to, but they paid well and it was easy. Um, do you have a special driver that you use for your job? I don't know what that means, Michael, not, um, no, man, David Attenborough on the back, on the background when you're trying to doze off is the best. Yeah, I listen, I do listen to audiobooks a lot when I go to sleep. Oh, like a, hold on, like a screwdriver. No, I, I don't have a job that really, um, requires me to, uh, routinely use a, a screwdriver other than this. So, um, uh, no, I use uh, an iFixit driver, which is around here somewhere, and a uh, cheap cobalt one that I've had, and an assortment of Weha drivers, but no, I don't, I don't ever have to carry, like, screwdrivers around. You don't have to do maintenance on bikes. Well, yeah, I have to do that, but that's, uh, they don't use screwdrivers very much. That's uh, Allen keys almost all the time. I rarely have to use a screwdriver. And, uh, again, I use, uh, mostly Weha stuff, so, um, or Park Tool. I've got a lot of Park Tool stuff, a lot of Weha stuff, but, you know, bicycles are mostly all, um, mostly all our, uh, Allen keys. Um, oh, like an interchangeable driver? No, I, I mostly use the individual Allen keys, um, just or uh, flippy dippy multi tool things, because um, I'm always I, I don't the bits I always wind up losing, and I always wind up just losing them. <clears throat> Flip the ant lock a few times. I can do that. Carried this earlier this week, and I forgot how much I like this. The only thing I hate about it is it still rattles. I was really hoping the rattle would go away. I don't know why I thought it would go away, but. That's really annoying, but other than that, I did keep the Mini. I sold the full-size one. I had both, and uh, I kept the Mini. Fits my hand really well. Fits my hand a lot better than a Mini Griptilian. Mini Griptilian always felt a little small. This feels just right. Alexander says, don't like the sound of that rattle. Yeah, neither do I, <clears throat> but you know what? In use, you never hear it. It's, it's only... Like, when you pick it up, you handle it, you flick it around, you move it, you don't hear it. It's, it's just when you do that, that you hear it, but it is kind of annoying. Uh, why would that knife rattle? That's the lock. They have to put some play in the lock and, um, it, it rattles a bit. So it was either make the lock really stiff or it was going to rattle a little bit, whatever. Uh, you want one of the new Ritters? Yeah, I, I sold mine. Only because I I had it and the or still had and I still have the uh, Super Freak and I just carried Super Freak more so I just can't keep everything so I got rid of it. ZT0562 thoughts. This the Thai one is one of my absolute favorite knives I've ever owned. Um. I ordered an SC3 from Amazon. Should I be concerned I won't get an EC3? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> uh, Super Freak is is great. I just, I, there was just some ergonomically, like, I, I think it was not even exactly ergonomics. Like, the, the Ritter felt great in my hand, but that Starburst pattern and stuff sliding into the pocket, just, it, it was so much easier to carry the Super Freak. It just slid it out of my pocket easier. I just I just liked the Super Freak better. Even though it's a coated blade, which I really didn't think that was what I would choose to keep. But uh, thought on the Alliance design stuff. It was really nice when I saw it at Blade Show. I haven't held it enough to... Um, and did you get my reply to you, Spirit of Whiskey, by the way? I replied to you on Instagram. Um, the Freak looks like it would fit in the hand nicely. It does. It is, it is really nice, and... I always hated the regular freaks. I hated that rubbery, grippery, grippery, grippy crap. But um, 
CT 0562 versus 0801 on closeout for 189. I do really like the 0801, and I'm sad that it's going away, but get the 0562. Uh, have you ordered a, a Sebenza 31? I have not. Um, one of my friends bought one, and I know I'm going to get a loan of one. Um, but I did not buy one yet. Uh, I, I don't think that's unlikely that I will, but uh, I, I did not pre-order one or whatever you're supposed to. Would you ever buy the Anthem again? In a heartbeat, if I had the money. Absolutely. Um, hi, did you see the new Benchmade Griptilian Gold Edition? If yes, how do you like it? I have not seen that. Uh, six, six on complicated name. Uh, what do you think about the Caribbean versus PM2? Have not held the Caribbean yet. Somebody just offered to loan me one, so uh, maybe I will, but I have not held it. Um, do you think Southern Grind does a better job than Benchmade? <clears throat> I don't know what your um, what reference point you're looking for, but uh, Southern Grinds are really nice. So are a lot of Benchmades. So some Benchmades suck. Some are good. They're a much larger company, so the hit to miss ratio is going to be different. See you later, Okan. I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick myself, too, because I always try to keep these about an hour. Um, do you believe Benchmade has sorted out their QC? I used to have a grip, but really didn't like to feel the base. Now, I think they have. I, I honestly really do think they have. I, I've I've been extremely lucky. I've, never, I've had one Benchmade that had a bit of a weird grind, and that was it. Like, I never had any other... And I've had at least a dozen. So... Um, how's the heat treat on that steel well? I haven't noticed any problems with it, but, um, again, I'm not a super heavy user, but, I don't know, seems fine to me. Um, Pants Funky asked a dad joke, which I know the answer to, and I'm not going to humor you by saying it. Uh, would you go for a shaman over the PM2? Uh, if I could only have one, uh, it would be... It would be neither. I do really want a shaman back. I do really like the shaman, but no. If, if I could only have one, it would be a Mannix. I like the Mannix better than both of them, but uh, that's that's what I would have is a Mannix too. Over either of them. I like the shaman, but uh, I don't think it does anything super much better than the Mannix and... I'd have Mannix, too. All right. I think uh, we've been here about an hour. So I think we're going to wrap this up. And uh, I do very much appreciate everybody coming to hang out. And this is always, always a good time. And uh, we will be, I will not be back next week. I'm sorry. I'm going to be out of town next week. So next week, we're going to have time off. It's possible I'm going to be driving next week. And I might, um, I might flip the camera on if my wife's driving or something late at night. And we'll do a little quick, I can't do bruising blades because I'll be the passenger in the car and I don't want her to get a ticket for an open container. But <laughs> I might flip something on and do something live in the car while we're driving. Um, and also, by the way, uh, let me look at my calendar here. This is something I, I did. I'll announce it in the little... Um, in the little uh, community thing, but when is the closest Saturday to Halloween or Sunday to Halloween? So the 27th, you don't want to miss the 27th because the cruising blades, there you go. That works. Maybe we'll do that. Um, on the, the 27th of October. So I have, my wife and I do Halloween up pretty big. We usually go out a few places. She's big into Halloween and all that stuff, and she's kind of gotten me into it too. So I am dressing up as Freddie Mercury, Live Aid Freddie Mercury. So uh, I'm going to shave in my porn stash a few days early, and the 27th of October, Bruise and Blades is going to be face reveal style with me sitting in my little chair over here as Freddie Mercury. So uh, it's going to be fun. I'll be wearing the white wife beater and the porn stash and the, the Ray-Bans and all that, and it'll be uh, 
it'll be fun. So, uh, um, and maybe even my wife's dressing up as Joan Jett. Maybe she'll want to test out her makeup and maybe we'll even get a, a Joan Jett appearance on there. So we will see. So, uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.